We're a nation in crisis and we have a United States Congress that is serving Zelensky over in Ukraine. $8.7 billion for economic support and funding in Ukraine, but there's no formula for American mothers and babies. $40 billion uh, Ukraine's supplemental. Um, and that bill, $40 billion, it's not about humanitarian aid. It does a lot of things that we don't need to be doing. $54 million in COVID spending in Ukraine, but there's no formula for American babies and mothers. And that's a failure that I, I refuse to be silent about. I've introduced a privileged resolution and what this will do is it will hold our government accountable for all of the funding for Ukraine. It gives the President of the United States, the Department of Defense, um, it gives them 14 business days to produce every single receipt. Relating to congressionally appropriated funds to the nation of Ukraine. I'm demanding all of it and it's basically an audit. The question is, is Ukraine now the 51st state of the United States of America? And what position does Zelensky have in our government? This is outrageous and the American people deserve answers. Yesterday, Democrats voted no on my House resolution to audit Ukraine and the American people deserve transparency and oversight on where their money is going. The American people do not support paying for constant U.S. involvement in foreign affairs while our own government fails our own country. I also want to point out that America deserves our borders to be defended. So if we're going to support any war, we should support a war on the cartels that are killing Americans and invading our country. We aren't defending our nation's border. We want to understand how Americans' tax dollars are defending uh, another nation's border. That's why I voted no to every single penny to Ukraine. And Congress should have never done it in the first place and we shouldn't be funding a war, a proxy war with Russia in the first place. We need to secure our own southern border. President Trump's border wall would have only cost $22 billion. With the money we've sent to Ukraine, we could have already secured our border, but we're not doing that. We should be paying attention to our country right now. And if we really care about people, then we would be doing everything we can to be urging Putin and Zelensky to the negotiating table to stop this war and bring peace. Our country is unconstitutionally fighting a war in Ukraine against another nuclear armed superpower, which is Russia. If you want to know something, Dan, I never voted on any war resolution having to do with Ukraine. None of us did here in Congress. Ukraine is not the 51st state of the United States, and that is not our border. I'm one of the only members of Congress that has never voted to send any money to Ukraine. I've been against this war the entire time because America's only position should be peace.